Hello and welcome to Watch Me Movie. My name is Ryan and today we are watching episode 12 of Hannibal. So this is the second to last episode of this season, so I am expecting it to be a good one. The last episode, it seemed like they were setting up for um, big events in the next two, so I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this one. I am wondering how close Hannibal's going to get to being found out or caught. Um, I know he's not going to get caught, there's two more seasons, but you know what I mean. I suppose I'm interested in whether Chilton makes a full recovery. Either way, I suppose we'll see what happens with him. Uh, Will. Will is really on the edge at the moment, so um, I'm not sure what he's going to do in these last two episodes of this season, but I'm expecting it's going to be quite mental. So I won't ramble on, let's just get on with this episode. Just before we do, if you appreciate this reaction, then consider giving a thumbs up to the video and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. With all that said, let's get into episode 12 of Hannibal. I forgot about her. You look better. They say what's wrong with you? Not just the fever. I hope you have good insurance. You're going to give me shock treatment. Electroconvulsive therapy. Shock treatment sounds nicer. Not sure it does. He said I might remember what I did. You know what you did, Georgia? Feels more like a horrible dream where I killed my friend. I dream you killed that doctor. That I couldn't see your face. It smells delicious. Silky chicken in a broth. Mm -hmm. Wolf berries, ginseng, ginger, red dates, and star anise. I actually just looked up who makes the meals for the show. Janice Poon apparently does a blog. She is the food stylist for the show, and she does a blog on how to make the um, how to make the meals. Visiting that unfortunate young woman. She's my support group. Nothing more isolating than mental illness. The hallucinations. The um loss of time could that have all just been the fever what we must do now is continue to support and monitor your recovery this young woman you were visiting i don't think she wants to recover can't say i blame her it's very 2001 What the? Why was that comb in there? That was one unlucky girl. Unit looks well maintained. No exposed wiring. There was a kid in Italy who was in one of these things. A spark of static electricity from his pajamas set it off. She wasn't wearing her grounding bracelet. She took it off. She was facing two murder charges. She wasn't suicidal, Jack. I was here, I spoke to her. She's a murder suspect, she tried to kill you. The chapters themselves will be you telling your story. What are we gonna call it? The last victim. Marissa? Marissa sure was killed by the copycat. I still blame my dad. I blame Nick Boyle for Nick Boyle's death. Nick Boyle was just a dumb kid who was really messed up because his sister was murdered. I've interviewed enough killers to know one when I see one. I see it every time I look at Will Graham. He and Jack Crawford told everyone Nick was the copycat and then someone murdered him for it. Whoever killed Nicholas Boyle killed an innocent man. I like that stop, stop motion effect. It's like uh, the Judder Man. See? Georgia Madchen didn't commit suicide, and whatever happened to her wasn't an accident. No, she I was didn't. murdered. By who? Whoever killed Dr. Sutcliffe. She told me there was somebody else there. There was somebody else there. It was Dr. Sutcliffe. She couldn't see his face because she'd cut it in half. All her adult life, this woman was misunderstood. She didn't kill herself. So what sparked the fire? Found this. Could it have been a plastic cone? 
But you're holding the murder weapon. Whoever killed Sutcliffe wanted to kill him. How Georgia Madge and killed her victim, but but not exactly how exactly. she was copied. Are you saying that Dr. Sutcliffe was killed by Garrett Jacob Hobbs's copycat? So was Georgia Madge. Nicholas Boyle is dead. Well, then he isn't the copycat. Will is connecting murders that previously had no connections. What's Will's relationship with Abigail Hobbs right now? I can't imagine he would hide anything criminal from you. You haven't known him that long. There are days when even Will doesn't understand his own thinking. I'd like to talk with you about a patient of yours. Uh-oh. I suspect that Dr. Hannibal Lecter may be withholding pertinent information involving a murder investigation. You are hoping he's confided in his psychiatrist, and I'll tell you. I am concerned about a relationship he has with one of his patients, a man named Will Graham. You were attacked by a patient not too long ago. And this patient almost killed you. He swallowed his tongue while he was attacking me. You should know there was another attack recently in Dr. Lecter's office. Complicated patients are conducive to complicated relationships. Hannibal refers to Will Graham more as a friend than as a patient. I know that he's concerned about Will Graham and I know that he wants to help him. Seems to me that Will Graham would do well to have more friends like Dr. Lecter. Will Graham theorized that the copycat killer and Garrett Jacob Hobbs are somehow connected. I want to track Garrett Jacob Hobbs using license plate capture from security footage. I also want to know every place that he went that wasn't home. Some of them fell off about that interaction. I don't know whether it was the way it was acted or filmed. I can't quite place my finger on it, but it just felt a bit off. I thought I got away from him. Oh, I don't think either of us have gotten away from your father. I wish I killed him for killing my mom. This wasn't supposed to be my life. An agent from the FBI came to see me. Jack Crawford was here. And evidently, he suspects you are protecting Will. Whatever you're doing with Will Graham, stop. I'm protecting Will from influence. You may not be able to. Agent Crawford also asked me about my attack. What did you tell him? That a violent patient swallowed his tongue while he was attacking me. You protect your patient from Jack Crawford, but I can't protect mine. You have to maintain boundaries, Hannibal. When the pressures of my personal and professional relationships with Will grow too great, I'll find a way to relieve them. I am finally thinking clearly about the copycat. Georgia Madchen followed me to Sutcliffe's office. She witnessed his murder. She saw the copycat. So you framed her for the murder? I was planning on framing me. This could be someone at the bureau, someone in the police department, someone who knows the crimes and has access to the investigations. I found a pattern, and now I'm going to reconstruct his thinking. Will, this is venturing into the paranoid. I'm not hallucinating. I haven't lost time. I am awake, and this is real. It's going to do, Hannibal. Abigail Hobbs attended orientations at every school where a girl was abducted by the Minnesota Shrike. She was the bait. She was helping him choose the girls. She kills Cassie Boyle to impress Dad. She's got a taste for it now. Or she wants to impress someone new. Hello, Agent Crawford. Where is she? Did Abigail Hobbs kill Nick Boyle? You want to tell me what the hell is going on between Will Graham and Abigail Hobbs? Yes, I've seen him confused at crime scenes. I've seen him disoriented. He would appear perfectly normal and not remember a thing. So you failed to mention any of this to me. Because I was trying to determine if it was trauma and stress from the work he's doing for you or mental illness. He's taken Abigail Hobbs. Do you have any idea where they might be going? Is it possible that Will knew what Abigail was doing? Is that why he's protecting her? There's something you should hear. How did you feel seeing Marissa Shaw impaled in his idol room? Guilty. Because I felt like I killed her. Where was Will the night that Marissa Shaw was killed? I knocked on his door. He didn't answer. This dissociative personality state you say he goes into? Whose personality is it? Garrett Jacob Hobbs. Garrett Jacob Hobbs. But he felt he was becoming him. I'm so sorry, Jack. That's switch. Maybe you shouldn't have checked yourself out of the hospital. I feel fine. 
Would have been my mom's birthday next week. We were gonna climb Eagle Mountain to celebrate from there. I could take you. I think it would just make me sad. The cat knew your father well enough to know about this place. Do you ever hunt? I fish. When you stalk, the other you lure. All those girls your dad killed. Did you fish? Dad will tell you. Oh. <laughs> I think you're still sick. Killed Nick Boyle. And you helped your father kill all of those girls. You think I'm the copycat? You think I killed Marissa? You shot Marissa. You knew about this place, and there is something wrong with you. Sir, I'm afraid you're gonna have to leave. What? All the other passengers have disembarked. It's just you, sir. I don't give enough credit to the sound design of this um, show, but just the um, from the like atmospheric stress sounds going into the vacuum and stuff it's all very um creative Oop. i was so worried about you where is will he knows everything so does jack crawford <sighs> he can't protect me anymore did he kill marissa you will believe he killed others too will always said whoever called the house that morning was the cio killer i wanted to warn your father that well, Graham was coming for him. I was curious what would happen. I was curious what would happen when I killed Marisa. He wanted me to kill Nick Boyle. I was hoping. How many people have you killed? Many more than your father. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you in this life. That lighting's beautiful on Hannibal's face. The way they've got that um, what Ugh. okay that was episode 12 that was a good one a really good one um so obviously we're set up now for the finale of the season um it's going to be about hannibal getting rid of um what's her face what's, it, what's she called abigail and i can't see any other outcome really she has to she has to die unfortunately for her um i'm just not sure how hannibal's gonna play it off whether he's just gonna make her disappear or blame it on will like i'm aware there's two more seasons of this so yeah i am very curious as to how and who is gonna carry on after this um next episode but yeah that was a that was a very good one so there's going to have to be some um conclusions for jack as as far as like the copycat getting caught and um and will's mental state and jack's suspicions um all these need to be sort of satisfied in the next episode for them to be able to carry on for two more seasons i, I expect so yeah i'm looking forward to how it all wraps up i liked um hannibal's confession there to abigail at the end it felt like quite a relief for him just to sort of say it all out loud <laughs> like i don't know why it feels like a relief to me but it did yeah, and I'm I'm trying to take more notice of the cinematography and stuff because I sort of, um, as I've got more into this show, I've just sort of let my comments about cinematography and sound design and stuff sort of slide because I've just been into the plot. But there is still some really nice, subtle uses of the cinematography and especially the sound design in this show. But yeah, that's it for episode 12. I'm looking forward to this um, this next episode. So yeah, that's it for today. If you appreciated this reaction, then consider giving a thumbs up to the video and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And with all that said, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.